I'm Lauren Ferrari, Wildlife Education Specialist and Biological Manager at Middle Creek Wildlife Management Area. Today, we're going to talk to you about a group of birds called herons and even have you help us participate in a survey on the property involving this group of birds. Every five years, the Pennsylvania Game Commission conducts a comprehensive colonial water bird survey that tracks their populations and nest sites throughout the state. These nest sites are called rookeries. As of 2017, the state had a total of 90 active nest sites. In the state of Pennsylvania, there are 11 total species in the heron family. Five of those species are considered threatened or endangered. Those species include the yellow and black crown night heron, American and least bittern, and the great egret. These species are in decline for a variety of reasons, namely habitat loss and fragmentation, especially in coastal, marsh, and wetland areas. Today we're going to talk to you about a more common species in Pennsylvania called the great blue heron. Great blue herons are large wading birds who have large feet that help them walk through muck, mud, and other areas. The great blue herons have a large wingspan as well, and if you're wondering what a wingspan is, it's basically from one point of their wing to the other. This is an activity that you can do at your own home and uh, figure out your own wingspan. And all you need is a tape, uh, tape measure. All you need to do is take one end of the tape measure to one side of your arm and have the other, take it to the other side of your hand here so that you're making a T with your arms. From that point, you can see exactly how long your wingspan is. Mine's approximately 63 inches. Uh, for comparison, great blue herons have up to a wingspan of 80 inches long. Usually your wingspan is somewhere around your height. Great blue herons have long, sharp bills that they use to help catch and pierce their prey. They eat a variety of critters, including fish, frogs, snakes, insects, and even rodents. Just like birds of prey, including hawks and owls, great blue herons regurgitate the parts of their food that they cannot digest. These parts come out in an ovular shape called a pellet. These pellets contain all the undigestible material from fur, bones, and other parts. And we're gonna actually show you what's in this one right now. So you can wear gloves for this if you want, or just make sure to wash your hands after the fact. I'm going to take this pellet and break it apart. And when I do, if I bring it closer, you can start to see little bones and other pieces that were in there. Fur. Most of the outside of this pellet is fur. And as you start to pull it apart, you're going to start finding more and more things in there. That right there appears to be a small tooth. And underneath all of this, I think that looks like a skull. So we're going to see what that looks like. So after some careful dissection here, you can see this is a, a whole rodent skull. See the uh, teeth in the front here. When you're pulling these pellets apart, you've got to be super careful. Uh, the bones are really fragile, but um, as you can see, this is a whole skull that was uh, regurgitated in one of those pellets. Pretty cool stuff. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, you and I are going to be going out and conducting a survey on one of the rookeries at Middle Creek. Before we do, I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about their nests. Females usually lay around four eggs. Those eggs take about one month to hatch, and once they're hatched, it takes three weeks for those chicks to be able to leave the nest. When we get out to the rookery, make sure we're staying quiet and we're going to keep a safe distance away from the nest to make sure we don't disturb them. You guys ready? Let's go. So we're at our rookery site here and we have five nests total that you guys can see behind me. Um, but besides the herons, uh, the great blue herons that we have nesting here, this wetland is home to a lot of other species like wood ducks, red-headed woodpeckers, and even prothonotary warblers. Um, as I mentioned, we're going to be quiet, do our count, and then we're going to get out of here. Thank you for joining us on our heron rookery survey. We hope that you enjoyed getting to know the great blue heron and other species in the heron family. Keep checking back on Wildlife on Wi-Fi for additional resources in the coming weeks.